Black Rock Stock, ticker symbol BLK. This is a company, the world's largest asset manager. What's the business actually like? You know what, today the stock's doing fairly well. It is up 2.26%. In fact, over the past five days alone, we are actually positive 1.15%. But the pain for BlackRock has been real. Over the past six months, the stock is down 33.71%. Year to date, in fact, down 32.91%. You buy into the stock thinking, well, world's largest asset manager. It must be a high quality company. No way I'm losing money on BlackRock. But this year, you've already lost 32, 33% of your capital. So, is this a buying opportunity? With the continued decline in the value of BlackRock equity, is it now time to buy in? Or is it simply too risky? Have we been burned by this company and we want to be staying away? Well, let's analyze the company on a fundamental level. Break it down. Have a look at the financial strength exuded by BlackRock. You know, it's kind of a mixed bag. A cash to debt ratio of only 0.78, which would indicate that they can only pay down around 78, 80% of their debt outstanding before needing to look to additional operational cash flow to supplement the rest of those debt repayments going forward. So financial stability is kind of mixed. I think what people miss with BlackRock is the massive amount of free cash flow constantly flowing into this business. This, as an asset manager, the constant collection of fees provides them with a tangible and very consistent form of free cash flow constantly flowing into the company. As that exists, as they keep getting free cash flow from operations consistently, you know that cash debt ratio doesn't cause me too much concern. Yes, it could be better. Yes, they could be holding more cash on hand. In fact, historically, they have been holding more cash on hand. Historically, their median cash to debt ratio has been around 1.25. But given the consistency of free cash flow flowing in, I'd say it's fairly good. I'm not too concerned with that. But there is a risk that in the event of a recession, the event of a stressful period in the marketplace, as we are in right now, that investors start saying, listen, I don't want my money with BlackRock anymore. I want to take my money out. I, I want to have my cash on hand. I don't want to be investing. And that, that's a key risk for BlackRock. Because if that happens, if investors start pulling out their money out of their various funds, what that means, that means less free cash flow stability. That means no longer they have the free cash flow flowing in, supplementing those debt repayments. Instead, they're actually put in a pretty risky position with a cash to debt ratio of only 0.78. Then the business is almost in a period of uh, distress, potentially. And that's reflected by the Altman score, an Altman score of 1.27, indicating that right now in this doubtful inflationary fear later marketplace, the company may actually be in some trouble. An Altman score of only 1.27, indicating a degree of distress with the business. As those free cash flows from operations dry up, that is when very tangible, very scary risks become apparent for BlackRock. Yes, there is still a tremendous degree of profitability. Profitability is highly evident within BlackRock. Net margins of 31.2%, absolutely world-class, regardless of the sector in which we look. Operating margins are also fairly decent. Gross margins also fairly high at 50.58%. But bear in mind that historically, all these numbers have degraded. All these numbers are lower than the historical median for the company, which isn't too favorable to see. We're seeing a degrading business over time. We're seeing a company that potentially stands to lose one of its largest free cash flow segments in the form of those revenues from fees. So it's a fairly risky scenario with BlackRock. And I think that's reflected in how the stock has performed, how the market has priced in this company, continuing to bring it down month over month, week over week, year to date, down 32.91%. That is reflective of these various risks associated with BlackRock. So is there a buying opportunity present after these continual declines? Is it now time to get on a BlackRock? Well, Let's have a look. The current forward PE ratio isn't too bad. A forward PE ratio of 15.36, sorry, current PE ratio of 15.36, forward PE of 15.49, almost identical. Now these are fairly low PEs. For the novice investor, they may say these PEs look fairly cheap. The company must be cheap. Well, we need to look at the growth rates, the tangible growth rates taking place within BlackRock to get an actual valuation of how much the company may actually be tangibly worth. Now, look at the growth rates for BlackRock, They've been fairly consistent, 11% over the past decade, 11% over the past five years, and 15% over the past one year. So, not bad on the day, fairly appealing. But, on a free cash flow basis, they lack free cash flow stability and free cash flow consistency in terms of the free cash flow accreting to their business. A free cash flow growth rate over the past decade of only 5.9%. 
Yes, it has accelerated over the past five years and one year, but relative to the relative to an earnings per share valuation, which yields potential upside of around 25%, a free cash flow valuation with the same 11% growth rate only gets your price target of around 614. So there's a big differential between an earnings per share valuation and a free cash flow valuation for this company. Now, which valuation makes more sense? Would you rather lean towards earnings per share or lean towards free cash flow valuation? In this instance, given the inherent and historical lack of free cash flow accreting on BlackRock's balance sheet, I'd probably lean towards earnings per share. I think that gives us a more tangible, more reasonable valuation of how much the company is worth at this time. So my price target for BlackRock right now around 8.17.94, 25% margin of safety, which is fairly decent, a fairly healthy margin of safety, but given the environment in which we're operating, an environment in which you know we could see massively reduced net income for this company correlated with a decline in fees being paid due to people withdrawing their money, that's a very tangible risk. And I'm not sure it's worth only 25% short-term upside. It's up to you. Of course, evaluate the company before you make any moves, but if you enjoyed this video, if you have to learn something more about my current thoughts on BlackRock relative to the market more broadly, then please drop us a like down below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. If there's a company or a topic you want me to talk about in the next video, then please just comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. But until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.